he always asks very good questions and very insightful questions. So, you know, students who interact with you, you find more, more most interesting. And then uh, he took every course that I taught in toxicology. Then I left uh, Minnesota to go to Tulane as head of environmental health there, and then came back in 1999. And Kelly was still here <laughs> taking classes. He had signed up for another class that I had taught. I said, Kelly, you know, I taught you everything I know. It's time for you to get a PhD. He had told me that he always wanted to know about how to do computer modeling. And so we had some projects we worked on in endocrine disrupting chemicals and chemicals in the environment which act as hormones. And he wanted to know how does this interact with, say, the est estrogen receptor. And we were looking at a compound called bisphenol A, which is the, the chemical that makes polycarbonate bottles. And, you know, there's a great concern about how that works and what, what it's doing in the human population. So he uh, did some computer programming to figure out how this interacted with the estrogen receptor. Made some computer models, gave talks about it all over the world, was invited to various congresses, and published it, of course, in the literature. Then he took a job at uh, Medtronic, and it, they, it was a very strange thing. I, I thought he should go into academia, but Kelly is a very applied-minded person. He likes, likes the work of the, of the industry group. So <clears throat> he uh, sort of made it into, shaped it into a very creative position. He's now senior toxicologist for the company. You know, he's very interested in history and why things are the way they are. And he delves very deeply into that. He's very knowledgeable about that. And I think that's part of the advantage of the liberal arts education is it, it broadens your perspective of how you approach problems and science and so on. So in my opinion, the best scientists are trained in liberal arts as well, not just focused only on mathematics and so on, although he's very good at both of those too. Immediately, you, when you talk to him, you, you recognize that he's a, he's a very friendly and outgoing young person, and he's full of knowledge, and he wants to share this knowledge with you all the time. We, in fact, use him as a teacher sometimes in some of our classes now, which I'm very happy to do, because he brings this perspective of historical background for and, and other applications, which we who sit in our academic world are very blind to oftentimes. But um, he's a very engaging person, is what I would say, and uh, a very interesting person to have a conversation, good conversationalist, good listener.